Sugar Runs, and today I'm super excited because we are going to talk about one of my favorite Garmin features, which is advanced workouts. And I'm gonna show you how to use this feature on your watch. So I always see people um, writing down in Sharpie on their arm what their workout is, what their paces are, their intervals, all that stuff. And you don't have to do that because your watch has that capability. So first I'll caveat that with not every single Garmin has that ability, but a majority of them do. So you wanna make sure that your Garmin has the advanced workout feature. And if it does, then this is the video for you to keep watching. This is a really cool feature because when you put the workout into your watch, your watch will tell you when you're done with your warm up. It will tell you when it's time for your first interval. It will tell you if you're hitting the right paces. It'll tell you when to go faster, when to slow down, all that stuff. So you can take out that mental side of remembering the workout and putting all that pressure on yourself to remember your paces that you're supposed to hit and you can just put that on your Garmin. So there's two different ways to do this. The first is through your desktop and we'll go over that option first. The second is through your Garmin Connect app on your phone. Um, I always recommend doing it through your desktop because it kind of ensures that it will get transferred to your watch and sometimes uh, the app can be a little tricky with the Bluetooth connection. So. Um, if you do want to just skip to the portion of the video where we go over it with the app, you can go to the time on the screen and jump to that. But with that, let's get started and we'll show you how to do it on your desktop first. All right, so once you're in your Garmin Connect account, you're going to see your dashboard, which will maybe look something like this. It's fully customizable, so you can add whatever you want to this. And what we're most interested in is our workouts. And that's this right here. If you need to add workouts to your dashboard, you can just hit this plus button. You'll come over here. You'll grab the workouts, which is at the very bottom, and you'll add it. So since we don't need to add it, we're good to go. <clears throat> we're gonna come in here, go to our workouts, and we're gonna press, press this plus button. We're gonna create a run workout. So whenever it creates a workout, it always gives you a warm up, run, and cool down. I like to delete the cool down and run so I can fully customize everything. Um, and most runs usually have a warm up, so we'll leave that one in there. So on this right hand side, you can see there's this final surge account for our athlete. We're gonna go, go through a couple different workouts and how you can schedule them to Garmin Connect. So this first one is a lactate threshold workout. So it's one and a half mile warm up, five times five minutes at, at a specific pace with a two minute float or recovery between and a one and a half mile cool down. So our repeats and recoveries are the same or our efforts and recovery portions are the same. So this is gonna be a, a workout that you can schedule in using the repeat um, function. So let's go ahead and schedule this in. So the warm up is a distance. So we're going to select distance, it's 1.5 miles. And then we're going to go ahead and add our next portion which is going to be our repeat. So add a repeat. And we're gonna up this to five because it's five times five um, minutes. So the run portion of this is a time. So it's five minutes and it has an, a specific pace range for us to hit. So you wanna go into add more and this is where you're gonna select your pace range. So we'll select pace. And that's all set. So next recovery is also a time. So we're gonna put that in as two minutes. And we're not gonna add a target to recovery because that can change based on, you know, how fatigued you get throughout the workout. So I always leave that open. And then we're gonna add a final step. So we'll go up, back up to the top right, add a step, and this is going to be our cool down, which is again, a distance, 1.5 miles. So now this workout is complete. It looks exactly like it does. It's scheduled in here, over here. So now we wanna make sure we save our workout. So go ahead and click save in the top right and it will confirm for you that your workout has been saved. So the next step is for you to send this to your device. So you wanna make sure your device is plugged into your computer um, via the USB cable that comes with the watch and you'll wanna hit send to device we're gonna send this to our Forerunner 645, which is already plugged into our computer. Send now, and it's going to want you to open up Garmin Express, which is an app that you need to download to ensure that it syncs. So it's syncing. Our workout is being sent to our 
watch. And now it's ready to go. Perfect. All right. So that workout is loaded up onto the watch. So you can always go in and just edit the workout that you've already um, got on here, or you can name your workouts. Um, so up here, you can edit the name of the workout. You can call this our lactate threshold workout, and we can hit that plus button, and this will be in there as lactate threshold, and that's how it will load onto your watch if you do that before you sync it. Um, I like to just update the workout as I, each week, so that I just have one workout in my watch. It's a little bit easier, and um, rather than having, you know, 15 or 20 workouts in there, I just have the one that I need to do that week. So I usually just leave this as workout. Okay. So let's go back to our training calendar and look at a different type of workout. So this next one is a fart lick. So let's see how this one plays out. So a one and a half mile warm up and cool down, one mile at 5K effort with a half mile recovery, 15 minutes at marathon effort with a half mile recovery and a, another mile at 5K effort before our one and a half mile cool down. So this is not set. <clears throat> um, repeats or even repeats like this workout was over here. Um, so we are going to make some changes to this by deleting our repeats because we don't have set repeats. So we'll delete this and we'll go ahead and delete our cooldown as well so that we can add our steps manually. So your warm up is going to stay at one, one and a half mile, which is great. We'll go up here and we'll add a step. So our next step is our one mile at 5k effort. So distance is our duration, one mile. And this is a very specific pace, so 6.45 pace is very specific. So I would always give myself a buffer on the front and back end of a pace range because if you don't and you expect yourself to hit 6.45 pace for the entire one mile duration, you're gonna get pretty annoyed that your watch keeps beeping at you. So let's do 6.40 to 647. I like to give myself a little bit of room on the front end so that I, if I go a little faster. Um, now we're gonna add our step. This is going to be our recover portion. And this is a half mile, so it's distance. Half mile recovery. Go back up and add our next step. So the next step is the marathon effort, which is 15 minutes. So our duration is gonna be time-based. 15 minutes. And again, on the intensity target, 7.30 is pretty specific. So we'll put 7.25 to 7.32. And then we'll add another step, recover distance-based at 0.5 miles. And then our next step is our final mile at 5K effort. So that's 640 to 647 pace. And then we will add our cool down in, which is distance based 1.5 miles. So again, this workout is ready to go. So always make sure you save your workout. And then again, you're going to go ahead and send it to your device. And now that will go ahead and sync. Perfect, we're all set. So that's how you would input a workout that does not have set intervals um, or irregular intervals. So let's check out one more that you maybe won't want to schedule into your Garmin Connect. So this one is another fartlek. So it's a two mile warm up and cool down and the workout is three miles. And for three miles, we want the athlete to go three minutes at half marathon pace and one minute easy for the three mile duration. So this is kind of tricky because you won't really know how many repeats you'll have within that three miles. You could do your first couple repeats a little bit faster, um, maybe at a 7.12 pace and as the workout goes on, you might get closer to 718, 719. Um, and then your one minute easy might start to slow down as you 
get fatigued throughout the workout. So this would be a workout that you really likely want to use the lap button and continue to switch back between the lap screen and the, um, the distance. So the other option is to schedule this in and kind of guesstimate based on, you know, where you think your recoveries will be and where you think that your, um, you'll, if you'll be spot on with your half marathon pace, you can, you know, guesstimate and schedule that in to here with set repeats. So that there's two options for that workout there for you. Okay. So now let's go over how to record a workout and transfer it to your watch via the app. So when you get into your Garmin Connect app, this is what you'll see. This is your main screen with all of your stats for that day. So you're going to want to go into the more section on the bottom right, and you'll see that there's several options here. You'll want to select training. And at the top, there's an option for workouts. So we'll go to workouts and then create a workout. So this is where you'll choose to create a run workout. Select that first option and you'll see that they again automatically load in a warm up, run, and cool down for you. So I like to delete that cool down and the run so I can fully customize everything. So let's take the first workout again that we had for our athlete, which was a repeat workout with set repeats. So that warm up button, we're going to get into there and we're going to select the duration type. So the warm up is 1.5 miles. So we'll change that to distance, set duration, and change that over to 1.5 miles. We'll go back out and we'll select that right button, add a repeat. So we have five times five minutes. So we'll update the repeat to five times. We'll update our effort portion. Instead of distance, we're going to change this to time because it's a five minute interval. Set that duration to five minutes. And this is where we're going to want to select an intensity target because we have a pace range that we want to hit. So select an intensity target, pace. So we can put in that pace range and then set target. So our pace range is seven minutes to 7.10. Done. And then we'll step back out. So get it back out of there. And then the recovery section, um, we're going to change that to two minutes. And we're not gonna select an intensity target again because as you fatigue through your workout, your recovery might get a little bit slower um, or you might feel like you wanna go a little bit faster during the recovery, like the workout's going really well. So I usually don't put a, uh, an intensity target on my recovery portions. So now the final thing we need to do is add our step for our cool down. So we'll go into that new run um, segment and we'll change the step type to cool down. And then the duration is distance and we'll update that duration to 1.5 miles. So close. All right, 1.5 miles. And then we'll back out. This looks great. Looks exactly like the workout does in our athlete's schedule. So we will go ahead to the top right and we'll hit save. This is where you have an option to update the workout name. Again, I like to leave it as run workout because I like to update my workout each week so that I only have uh, one workout in my watch uh, each week. So we'll save that. And then it'll save into your workout section. So you'll want to go back in and select it, and this will be to upload it to your phone. So we're going to go up to the top right where you see that little phone uh, with the arrow and select that. And now this is syncing onto our watch. So that check mark means that it has, has synced with our watch and it should show up in your watch when you go to do the workout. So let's go through our, our next workout, which was the fartlek workout, which does not have set intervals or um, repeats, um, but it does have steps that we can do. So we'll go into the run workout. Now we can go in and edit the workout by selecting the three buttons on the top right. And we'll go ahead and just edit this one directly. So I'm going to delete the cool down and delete the repeat section. And the warm up for this uh, fartlek workout is the same. It's one and a half miles. So we'll leave that there, but we're going to add our next step, which is our one mile run. It's nice. It already fills that in as one mile. 
but we're going to update our intensity target to our 5K effort, which is a 645 for this athlete. So the target type is going to be pace and we'll set that target. And again, we wanna make sure that we give some sort of buffer around this because when you're doing a workout, it's going to start buzzing at you if you go outside of the range that you put. So if you just put 645 pace in here, it's gonna be pretty hard to hit exactly a 645 for that full mile. So we will update this. We'll put a little bit on the front end. So we'll do 641 and, oops, this should be six. And we'll update that to just a tiny bit on the back end to 646. Okay. And then we will go back out and we will add our recovery step. So we'll go in there, we'll change that step type to recovery. And our recovery for this is distance. Whoops. So we'll leave that. We'll update that duration because it's a half a mile. And we'll leave that intensity target alone because we want to allow us the opportunity to go a little bit slower. We need a slower recovery. Add a repeat, so, oops, sorry, not add a repeat. We're going to now add a step for our next run segment, which is now a time-based segment. So we'll update the duration type to time. We're gonna set that duration to 15 minutes for this workout. And we'll update that intensity target. So the intensity target is still going to be pace. And for this portion, it was a 7.30 pace. So we will make that a 7.26 to a 7. Thirty-one, and that looks good. So we'll get back out of there. We'll add our next step, which is our recovery portion. Update that step type to recovery, and update that duration distance to the 0.5 miles. And then we'll get back out, and we will add our final mile which is our 5K mile again. So we're going to update our intensity target to pace, set that target again to the 6.41 to six, oops, I keep thinking that that's seconds. All right, so to 6.46. Perfect back out and then we will add our final cool down. Update that step type to cool down and we'll update this to 1.5 miles. I'm getting faster as I go. And then check this against our screen and that looks to be correct. So we'll go ahead and go to the top right and hit save. and it automatically synced up to the workouts list. So, oops. So we will go back out and we will sync that again to our phone. And that should be on your phone next time you go to do your run workout. All right, I hope you guys found this video helpful and that you'll start using this in your workouts because it will make them so much easier. And if you have any questions or if there's anything else that you'd like to see for a video, please make sure to drop that in the comments and make sure that you subscribe. Thanks for watching.